We start by looking at the payoff matrix for the split or steal game. We start with the assumption that there's an equal likelihood that player number two will choose steal as he will choose split. So assuming player number two has an equal likelihood of choosing split or steal, player number one is going to calculate his expected payoff from choosing steal. Player number one's actual payoff for choosing steal when player number two chooses split will be 100. So multiply that by the probability that player number two will choose split. And therefore, the expected payoff will be the 50% chance that player number two chooses split times the certain payoff of 100 when player number one chooses steal at that same time. So one half of 100 is 50, and that's player number one's expected outcome. Notice the formula is pi 1 times the payoff when player number 1 chooses steal and player number 2 chooses split, plus 1 half of the payoff when player number 1 chooses steal at the same time that player number 2 chooses steal. Because player number 1's payoff for choosing steal when player number 2 chooses steal will be 0, 1 half of 100 plus 1 half of 0, which is just 1 half of 100 equals 50. Let us compare that with the payoff when player number 1 chooses split. Again, assuming a 50-50 chance that player number two will choose split or steal, the only payout is when player number two chooses split and player number one chooses split. And the payout will be 50 under those terms. So one half of 50 plus one half of zero is one half of 50, which is 25. So if we look in the last column, the expected payout for player number one will be 25 when player number one chooses split and the expected payout when player number one chooses steal will be 50. 50 is clearly the preferred outcome, therefore player number one will opt to choose steal because of the higher payout. The matrix at the bottom shows the symmetry of the problem, same numbers for player number two as player number one, so we expect player number two's expected outcomes to be the same when he chooses the same options as player number one. So player number two will have an expected payoff from choosing split that's equal to 25, one half of 50 plus one half of zero, and an expected payout of 50 when he chooses steel, one half of 100 plus one half of zero. We conclude that both players have it in their interest to choose steel. Of course, if both choose steel, the payout will be zero. So the object of the game is not just to go with what looks as your highest expected outcome but also to deceive the other person into making a different play so that you can actually get the actual outcome. Clearly then, player number one has to convince player number two to choose split because if player number two chooses steal, there's no payout. As we go back to the video then, you can see why the lady had to convince the gentleman to choose split because as long as he chose split, she was going to get a payout of either 50 or 100. Once you know the other individual is likely to choose split, then choosing split is not in your best interest. Choosing steel is your higher payout, and that is the game that was being played.